flocks by night Behold throughout the heavens There shone a holy night Oh God, tell it on the mountain Echoes of Christmas uh, that bring joy with carols uh, to us. They are brought to you by International Christian Center, Imara Daima, a Kenya Assemblies of God uh, congregation. We meet every Sunday, 8.30 and 10.30. And you are both welcome to visit with us. We are also online for either of those services you can uh, join us and also you can reach out to us through our social media may god bless you we pray that you will enjoy this christmas that has brought light to the world Yes, indeed, Jesus is the light of the world. He himself said it in John chapter 8 and verse 12. Jesus spoke again to the people and said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have light of life. This Christmas, we are looking up to the light of the world. Jesus is the celebration that we have who has come to illuminate this world. Indeed, we are faced with a lot of darkness in many circumstances of life. But Christmas brings the light, the celebration that the world needs in its challenges today. We can look up to the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ and say, yes, indeed, we have seen the light because Jesus has come to bring light. He has come to make all things new. He has come so that we may have life. And that life is brought by a revelation, a new understanding of what God is doing in our lives. Indeed, his desire from the beginning was that a man may have his best. And he has come to cancel the debt of sin. And that is what Christmas is about. That is what the celebration this Christmas is about. To God be the glory.
adore him oh come let us adore him oh come let us adore him christ the lord sing choirs of angels sing in exaltation Matthew 2.10 When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. Just as the wise men were overjoyed at the sight of the star, leading them to Jesus, let us approach Christmas with a heart full of adoration and joy, for Jesus is the reason for the season. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. Christmas, it's all about the birth of the Messiah. This Christmas, let's be reminded of the profound significance of Jesus' birth. He's the Savior who came to bring salvation and redemption to all. All my words fall short I've got nothing new How could I express All 
my gratitude I could sing this song as I often do but every song must end and you never do so I throw up my hands and praise you again and again cause all that I have is a hallelujah hallelujah and I know it's not much but I've nothing else fit for a king except for a heart singing just one move with my arms stretched wide I will worship you so I throw up my hands and praise you again and again cause so Except for a heart singing hallelujah, hallelujah. Come and let us rejoice to our God. Psalm number 95 verse 1 and 2. Come let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. Indeed, this is a time of celebration. We will be exchanging gifts and we will be having all manner of celebration. But you know what? The real celebration comes by celebrating the King of Kings. It comes by celebrating the real joy that has come to the world. Celebration ought to be to the one who has attained and earned the victory for us. Our Lord Jesus Christ this Christmas is the real joy, is the real celebration, is the real victory. And we come together, yes, to exchange gifts, yes, uh, to come together as family, but the most important thing is to celebrate uh, the one who has completed uh, the plan of our redemption. Jesus Christ is uh, the celebration. Jesus Christ is the hallelujah. He is the song of God. We look to celebrate this Christmas because a Savior is born to the glory of God. time we are a vapor you are eternal love everlasting reigning on high holy holy lord god almighty worthy is the lamb who honor and glory be unto your name be unto Oh 
honor and glory be unto your name be unto your name be unto your name lord be unto your name david wrote a psalm and praise god Psalm 145, verse 1 and 2. And he said, I will exalt you, my God, the King. I will praise you and your name forever and ever. Every day I will praise you and extol your name forever and ever. It is another opportunity for us to praise God for what he has done for us. It is another opportunity to remember this God that we ought to praise every day. Think about the entire year. What has he done for you? And now you have this great opportunity to exalt and to praise his name for what he has done for you. Jesus has come so that you may have life, so that I may have life. Jesus is uh, everything that we need and we ought to exalt him that he gave uh, his life. He was born in the world of sin so that uh, you and I may have life. May we, like David, this Christmas remember to praise our God who is worthy of our honor to the glory of his name. God bless you. Oh, oh, oh. Away in a manger, no creep for our bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down a sweet head. The stars in the sky looked down and he lay. The little Lord Jesus hard sleep in the to Lord Jesus no crying he makes I love the Lord Jesus look down from the sky and stray by my side till morning is night be Stay close by me forever and love me, I pray. Bless all the dear children in thy tender care and take us to heaven to live with thee there and take to heaven to live with thee there. Luke chapter 2 verse 6 to 7. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. I want you to reflect on the humility of Jesus' birth, lying in a manger. This simple yet profound image reminds us that our Savior is approachable and accessible. As we celebrate Christmas, let's approach Jesus with childlike faith. Our sons and daughters 
Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? The smile that you delivered will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know? Mary, did you know? Mary, did you know? Did you know the blind will see, the deaf will hear, and the dead will live again? The lame will leap, the dumb will speak, the praises of the Lamb. And Mary, did you know that your baby boy will one day walk on water? And Mary, did you know that your baby boy will save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? The sleeping child you're holding is the great Luke 1, 31 and verse 35. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Consider with me the miraculous nature of Jesus' conception. The virgin birth is a sign that truly Christ is the Son of God made Safari, eh, oh, Safari, a bamba ni mache, oh, Safari, eh, oh, Safari, a bamba ni mache, 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 Three kings of Orient are bearing gifts. We travel so far, field and fountain, moor and mountain, following yonder star. Star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright. Westward lead. Still proceeding, guide us to the perfect land. Safari, eh, oh. Safari, a bamba ni machero. Oh, safari, eh, oh. Safari, a bamba ni machero. 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 Safari a bamba ni machero. Hey, safari e eh, o. Oh. Safari a bamba ni machero. Safari a bamba ni machero. Safari a bamba ni machero. Hey, safari a bamba ni machero. Safari a bamba ni machero. In Matthew chapter two and verse two, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem, the Magi came to Jerusalem and asked in verse 2, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. Have you seen the star of Jesus? This is an opportunity that we have yet again and Christmas comes as a reminder that Jesus, the Savior of the world, is born to mankind. The birth of our Lord Jesus Christ that we celebrate every Christmas is a reminder that uh, Emmanuel, God with us, uh, he is here and we can come out and worship our God. We may not have expensive gifts uh, to share with one another or to bring to him, but God has blessed us with, with many things, our friendships, our talents, all kind of gifts uh, that we can share with one another. 
Christmas is about celebrating what God has done for mankind through the Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us exchange that love between ourselves. Let's, when we visit one another, speak about this glorious day that the Lord himself has gifted himself to us, to the glory of his name. May we too be a gift to one another for what God has done for us. Amen. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom. Isaiah 7:14. Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. God with us. What a powerful reminder that God entered into our world. May this truth fill our lives and every Christmas should be for us a new and special meeting with God when we allow his light and his grace to enter deep into our soul. Emmanuel, God with us. Oh 
Luke 2, 7. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. In the simplicity of that silent night, the world received its savior. As we hear the familiar melody of Silent Night, let's contemplate the peace and the tranquility that Jesus brings into our lives, even in the midst of a chaotic world. God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power as we were gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. From God our Heavenly Father, a blessed angel came, and unto certain shepherds brought tidings of the same. Now that in Bethlehem was born the Son of God by name, oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power as we were gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. The Lord Jesus Christ is calling us to a time of rest from the burden of the things that we carry. And he is asking each one of us that we could enjoy rest that is true rest from him. And he says, as he calls to us in Matthew chapter 11 and verse 28 to 30, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble, in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light jesus is offering to carry all the load and care of our burdens and this christmas is an opportunity for you to come to jesus and say i have carried there for many years i have tried to organize my life and i have not been successful. I realize that only he who came to carry the burden that separated me from God, I am going to turn to him and he is prepared to take this yoke. He is ready to carry it on my behalf. Friends, at the cross, there is room for each one of us. We can cast all our burdens to him and he is going to carry them for us. May God give you rest this Christmas as you turn to him, to his glory. Amen. Oh, oh, oh. Holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's born. Long lay the world in sin and there abiding till He appeared and the soul felt 
it's worth a thrill of hope the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious dawn fall on your knees oh he Isaiah 9, 6, For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. When Christ entered into our world, he didn't just come to brighten our Decembers, but he also came to transform our lives.
precious Lamb of God Born into sin that I may live again The precious Lamb of God Holy is the Lamb The precious Lamb So, Lord, I shall never know the precious Lamb of God. Oh, 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 The Lord. 